What's up, sons? It's Blind Run, B-L-I-N-D-R-U-N, with Son of a Tech. And I thought Intel was going to announce an 8-core, 16-thread, you know, slightly clockable 4.6 gigahertz single-thread CPU for us to enjoy on the Z370 and Z470 platform. However, they shocked us all with the announcement of the Intel 8086. No, not, not that 8086. The 8086K on the Z370 platform. Stick around. Welcome back. So I did go ahead and browse all the interwebs for all the YouTube videos and announcements coming from Computex. And I've been, for the most part, pretty disappointed or meh about most of it of course there was some stuff at the devour section on gamers nexus channel that was pretty cool and some neat stuff like that as far as enthusiast guides and so on but nothing from the big companies until intel came out and announced that they're releasing an anniversary edition of the basically 8086 so it's going to be the 40th anniversary for that marking the 40th anniversary and the 50th anniversary overall the thing that makes this chip unique is that while it is similar to the 8700k and the fact that it is a six core 12 thread processor it's going to out of the box hit five gigahertz but not five gigahertz on of course all cores you're talking about hitting five gigahertz on a single core with the out of the box turbo clock the base clock is rumored to be about four gigahertz or at least i think it was four gigahertz correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section below and I am more excited than ever. Of course, recently I did test one of the i9s and I wasn't too happy with that, but I will say the single thread performance was the best I've ever seen out of the box. And that wasn't even hitting anywhere close to five gigahertz. So in Cinebench, I'm looking for a score to break out of the box with no overclocking or not touching the chip at all of over 200 points on a single thread. And I will be ecstatic. But before you say I'm an Intel fanboy, please do check out out that i9 video I, I, it's pretty bad some things to note here is that since it is an anniversary edition it is going to be a limited run of only 50,000 cpus and i'm going to buy about 99 percent of those so you better get ready to click buy as soon as possible now i do have a z370 board but i'm running the 8350k right now in it and being able to upgrade i'm glad i waited of course there is still that rumor mill churning about the 8 core 16 thread but i doubt it'll be a limited run like this and just the idea of having I guess a collectible when a PC part not to mention one that hits 5 gigahertz guaranteed means that you're probably going to get a good cut of the wafer since there's only 50,000 of them coming off the line I'm pretty sure the rest of them will be basically 8700 K's and if we take a look at the 8700 K's it's not unheard of to hit 4.8 gigahertz on all cores all the way up to 5.2 gigahertz on all cores and of course sometimes with the AVX enabled but that means that if we're going to get the best silicon for these 8086s that hitting 5.2 gigahertz on almost all of them on all cores wouldn't be out of the realm of possibilities meaning that you're going to basically get a good option right off the bat without having to go through a website like silicon lottery so awesome stuff the only thing that they could do to really make this better is solder that ihs to the die and give us some awesomeness there i will also mention here that in the description i'm going to link the sweepstakes yes that's right thanks to it being an anniversary edition 8086 of the 50,000 run will not be sold but however they will be given away and you can sign up with the sweepstakes that i'm not sponsored by or affiliated by in by any means but i'm super excited to <laughs> let you guys know about it because that's pretty dang awesome now i can't wait to get one of those into my z370 motherboard i have a uh, what is it killer sli from asrock i think that'll do pretty well of course if you do pick one of these up overpaying for a z470 board when those launch and dropping it in there is probably going to be what we're going to want to do and i think that's going to be my next next custom loop i want to custom loop it with you know an 1180 but you know dreams that's probably not coming out anytime soon so i think we'll go with a 1080 ti for the win 3 edition so if you're interested in that build make sure you hit the subscription they already sold me as you can tell so sold i i got uh i got duped into that marketing ploy i love marketing ploys when they're awesome like this though i don't care but I don't know. Don't sue me. Don't sue me. 
That's a, that's a saying that, I, that crossed my mind, but we're not going to do it. What do you guys think about the 8086 processor or the 8086K? Both, either one, some reminiscing over that. I think those were in the old IBM PCs, which you can always go take a look at. One of those vintage gaming or vintage PC channels. There's a new guy I've been watching, Victor, I believe it is. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down here below. See... Go see if he's got any of these laying around and tell him to send me one over. Other than that, it's pretty hard to find them. Of course, I'm talking about the original 8086, but I'd love to pick one of those up before we, you know, we get the new ones launched. As you guys can tell, I'm giddy about it, and yes, I skipped Mining Rig Wars. I'm also just got off work and I'm really tired. So we're going to go hang out with the kids, do some stuff like that. We're going to come back. We're going to be playing a new game over on twitch.tv slash sonofatech underscore. It's called uh, Realm Clash, I think. Realm Clash or Realm Royale? Realm Royale. I keep getting mixed up with Clash Royale. But it's from High res Studios. If you guys have not checked it out, I definitely highly encourage it. It's a free-to-play game, and you can come over to my Twitch channel and play with me. I'll be looking for people to play with. It's their take on a Battle Royale game. The interesting part here is that they're going to be having essentially RPG elements. So you're going to level up abilities with the pickups you find and so on and so forth. Other than that, not too exciting, but it might be actually the type of Battle Royale that gets me into Battle Royales. That's one thing that High res is good at. I was a fan of Paladins and I was a fan of Smite. Now, I wasn't really that big of a fan of Overwatch, which is pretty much what Paladins was, and I wasn't really that much of a fan of something like Dota or League of Legends, but High res takes on these games seem to make me super excited and maybe i'll be able to run 4k 144 fps on the intel 8086k hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you next tuesday